What's up guys? Hope you're all doing great and thanks for opening this video and this is just my experience about using MacBook Pro. Uh, I bought this MacBook just a few weeks ago and this is my very first MacBook and I've always been a, a Windows user and uh, this MacBook is from 2015, 13 inch and uh, uh, what, I, what I'd like to talk about in this video are keyboards because I'm a keyboard shortcuts man I've always used them and as a programmer as a software developer I think it's very important for any software developer to get used to using keyboard shortcuts and one of the great things about them is that they actually incre increase the productivity and uh, that's pretty much what I like why I like using them and I hope you guys are agree with me as well and uh, say if you bought this MacBook Pro for the very first time and I don't know if this is the case with the latest versions of MacBook Pro such as M1 MacBooks or you know 2019 versions and but with this MacBook Pro 2015 every time when I mm, have this installed or fresh when I get a fresh copy of this uh, whatever version of oh, Mac OS you have uh, when you click on something um, when you enable tap tap to click feature if you notice uh, when I click on the desktop you will immediately see the delay which uh, takes it to switch the fo focus from this settings window to the desktop and that really annoys me because I've I always want an immediate response when I click on something it should literally take me from this to to this place this is the case when you use browsers when you want to switch from one thing to another you know the immediate response is always a good thing so you only get the immediate response when when you disable certain features and those features are located in the track trackpad. Let me just show you one example. Say if you have the all of the, I believe you have tap to click enabled if you are watching this video, because most people do. And if you, if we open this uh, tab, you will see that there are some unnecessary features that I that I always disable because smart zoom is something that I never never use and ro rotate is also I think I believe is an unnecessary feature because um, MacBook touchpad is something that takes a lot of gestures you always want to minimize them to get uh, an, an immediate, immediate response excuse me and if you go to this uh, tab there are even more so when you disable them let me show you one more thing if you want to disable some of the uh, gestures uh, this is just my list this is something that I always do but uh, last thing that I always do is I go to the accessibilities and open the trackpad options that are located in pointer control so here is the interesting thing if you have enable dragging enabled and uh, you will be able to just tap and drag and drop anything but if you disable this option the response time will be increased actually so you'll get much more faster response but you won't have this feature with the tap and drag and drop feature and that really annoys me because I want to have an immediate response and I also want to be able to drag and drop with tap to click feature and maybe I'm doing something wrong or maybe I might not got used to using these keyboards too much yet but if you have something that you'd like to share with me please put something in the comment section below I'll appreciate it and whatever if you have something that you'd like to share with me so let's talk about it and this this was just my small my short period experience using this MacBook Pro 
And anyways, guys, thanks for watching this video. Hope you liked it. You liked it, and let me hear from you as well. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.